Hey guys, welcome to Rotor Rat, and this is First Flight to Freestyle today. We're out here at Orlando Speed World. We're here to chase some drift cars. Now, the whole theme of this series is we're taking Eric here from really having very little drone Zero. experience to being a full-on ripper. Oh. We're gonna take all those manual mode skills that you've been learning and try to apply it to some chasing. Chasing is one of the most fun, unique things you can do with this type of FPV drone. You can get shots that are just not possible any other way, and drift cars are one of the most fun things to chase. I think this is our second to last one. Let's try to destroy it today. <laughs> but I did have to ask for some extra help. As many of you guys have said in the comments, having Drew as a teacher is a huge leg up, but I had to bring somebody else because I don't know if you guys have seen this guy shredding in New York City last week. Absolutely amazing video on the Rotor Riot channel. Bubby, thank you for coming. Yeah, that's gonna be a blast. But he's a total natural with the chasing. He gets amazing shots of drift cars. He's also done some, some motorcycle chasing. You did this one shot, Bubby, where you chased a biker doing a backflip and you just perfectly tracked it. It was the most epic thing. You just, you are definitely one of the best chasers in the game. So guys, this track is awesome. They pretty much let us have free reign in the place. All the drivers are super cool with the drones. They don't mind things getting a little bit crazy hairy. We're just gonna go set up right next to the track and tear into it. Let's go. So like I said, this track is super friendly to drone flying, which means there are already some other drone pilots here tearing it up, and there's probably gonna be a few others, which means that when you're flying here, you gotta think about sharing the airspace we do have an advantage with the DJI FPV drone, and that is that you can set it to run exclusively on 2.4. That means that this drone isn't gonna be bothering anyone else, and when we're flying this drone, we can just do whatever the hell we want. All right, we got some rain, which actually is gonna make it pretty interesting for these guys. They're gonna be able to slide with a lot more ease, so we'll probably be seeing some spin outs, but if they know what they're doing, Shouldn't be a problem. Look at this guy, he's got it, he's got it. So the only thing we'll really be missing out on is some smoke, but maybe we'll get lucky and we'll dry up and we'll get some of that smoke back. I think right now the issue is like, it, they're kicking up so much water and like trying to get the really cool shots right next to them, it's gonna be like, don't get rained by the floor. Fly good, it's buddy. just a question of how good the water briefing is on the DJI drone. how quiet the cars are now that they're in the water. Yeah. What's nice about chasing drift cars on a track like this is their path is very predictable. You know, after, it's gonna take you a couple passes to get down what they're gonna do, but it's the same set of turns every time, so you can really start to predict what they're gonna do. When you first start off, you're just gonna do some basic follow like this. Just worry about staying behind and just think about keeping them in frame. Like, all I'm doing is just trying to keep them in the middle of frame and not crash into them even as they're spinning out. So that's it, just keeping them in frame. This is kind of how I start off. And then once I start to get more comfortable, also he's probably catching up, so let me see. You see, behind? Nope, I, yep, there he is. So uh, I wanted to get out of his way. But once I start to get more comfortable, you know, you'll start wanting to push it a little bit closer. But I think, you know, there's diminishing returns. If you get too close so that you can't keep the whole car in frame, you know, I don't always think that looks so great. Like We're also it, gonna get wet today. That's true, <laughs> so you almost you wanna keep your distance for two reasons. One, so you don't get wet, and two, you know, while being super duper close is awesome to show off as a pilot, if you can't see the whole car, I think it kind of ruins the shot. I will say sometimes, like, getting right up on the tire does look cool, like, as yeah. a certain time. Like that? Is that cool? Is that cool? <laughs> is that, how about that? Nice. <laughs> Dude, this looks like a GoPro, like a, video, like a YouTube video. On, I've, on I've, the phone? Yeah, I've never watched it on the phone before. Jeez. So right now I'm really just doing like, you know, behind. But um, when I get more comfortable, what you can start doing is kind of starting to strafe them too. So this one I'm actually gonna like swing around and strafe them. What does strafe mean? Like go sideways, like so I'm kind of on his side here. But now I need to remember, he's about to turn into me. So do that crossover, so that, that, that comes down to knowing what they're about to do, having that course kind of memorized so that I know when they're gonna, if you get ahead of them, you can kind of try and save it, make it look stylized. I meant to do that, right? But the strafe is really cool. You know, it's just kind of a speed management thing. 
you know, and like get that distance. It's tricky. I didn't do it super great there. Super fun to watch though. And then I also like to think about like starting a shot, you know, so maybe I'm looking at the sky, dive down, see them. That's off. Come into it. So it's not just gonna be a function of like cut, cut. It's also great that these guys are doing tandem because like, all right, I'm gonna intentionally try and slow down and let this other guy just come in the frame. Come on, man, come on. Oh, he's not as close as I'd like him to be. If he was closer, that, you know, maybe it would've worked out better, but still, you just kinda, you just kinda save it with some flow. Just loop around, make it all look intentional, and then maybe I'll zip past him and catch back up to the first guy. You know, it's really fun to play with multiple cars, especially when they're closer together. So here, let me uh, hand this off to Bubby. Let's what? see what you got. I'm gonna put my camera angle at like 20. Oh, that's right, you can adjust the camera angle on this thing with the dial. Because these cars are going a little bit slower, so like, I don't wanna have a bunch of camera angle. And like, Woo, I don't- Bubby goes straight for it. Watch that wall. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! I, I, so like, I think I disagree with Drew a little bit in the sense of get the whole, like, I like getting really close on those quads. Yeah, it's show-off-y. Definitely a show-off. Bubby, help me get a basic idea, like, speed-wise. Obviously, you're trying not to overshoot, but are you using more roll or more yaw to stay with him, like, in this turn? So, like, right, I'm but. using a lot of yaw right now to stay in that turn. Like, I'm barely using any roll. I don't think he used enough yaw. What do you, uh, the he car? <laughs> like, no, he, he used, used too, too much, much y'all. Yeah. <laughs> These guys are definitely even going slower than you might be used to. This is a great day for you to learn, Eric, because the, with the water, the speeds are really being brought down. They don't need to have as much speed to, to slide out. That was an awesome shot. That was beautiful. To y'all around the hood like that, that was sick. So here's tandem, or whatever they call it. So I'm gonna try to be on the first guy, and then maybe slow down and transition to this guy, kind of like that. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, Bobby! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Dude, this thing, yeah, this thing is crazy. That's the shot of the day right Oh, you here. see that rainbow? There was a rainbow oh, in yeah. the spray. Oh, that was so sick. So, like, I guess, like, an angle, a good side of the car to be on is the outside of the turn. So, like, if they're turning left, I want to be on the right side of them. Right. Because, like, if, they're tur if they are turning left and I'm on the left side, it's going to be really hard to get an actual turn when you're facing. It's just a weird angle to be turning at. Like this, it's very hard to get them in shot and actually track them. And to show the movement. Because that yeah. kind of slows everything down and makes it feel almost bland. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Bobby. Nice shot. Nice rotation. Beautiful. Beautiful. Whoa. Love that little flick. There's so much water on the lens. There's so much water on that lens, yeah. Nice. So now I have to do that. It's gonna be on me. Awesome, to be just Bobby. as good. You got this. I'm gonna piece. You got this, man. 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 Boom. You made it. Up. You did it. He's already going for the shot. Boy. He's just going right for it. Going right for it. See, when you start to be pointed too down at it, you got to remember that that means you're diving. Remember when we did the dives? And you know when you dive, you go down. So if you point it down, you're going to start. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh. <laughs> nice save. Just bailing. Just bailing. Nice save. So, yeah, there you go. I would not worry about, you know, when you're first getting into it being quite so bubblicious and getting as close. I would just worry about being low and chasing, right? And make sure it's in the frame the whole time. Right, you know, if you want to be looking down at the car, you might as well be using a Mavic, right? The whole point of FPV is that you can really chase this thing and be dynamic. So I'd practice, it's more important to practice being low and behind it. Um, than anything else. Even if you're not close yet, you can always get closer. I got the shakes in my hands, I gotta move them to my legs. It's okay. The DJI uh, optical image stabilization is gonna help <laughs> a lot with that. So is this footage stabilized too? The image that we see in the goggles and on the phone there, there's a little bit of stabilization with it, but when we see the uh, the final ex when we see the final video recorded on the drone's SD card, there'll be even a little more stabilization on top of what we're seeing live. If I want to take off some stabilization, can I? Yeah, you can turn it off, you know, if you want to show off how smooth you are. But for Eric, <laughs> no offense, Eric, we're going to leave all the stabilization oh, on. Oh, let's do this guy. This guy's like one of the best out here. I, I, uh, this guy? Yeah. Yeah, I was getting him earlier. Maybe. Woo! Right in the spray. Right. 
spray. Right in the spray. Oh, it's been out. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Feeling good? You know, based on what I'm hearing too, I think Eric, you can just, just use less throttle. You know, you're really, uh, ooh, watch our jump. Oh! oh my gosh! I saw him and punched it. I saw him and punched it. I saw the line, I punched it as a crap. I went too wide. That was, it was scale, he wasn't meant to do that. Nice save. That was actually on purpose-ish. Exactly. Ooh, he got close. Ooh, that's a Oh! Whoa! <laughs> wow, that was awesome. Yeah, Eric, I think you can use a lot less throttle than you are. You know, you, you, the drone's gonna carry a lot of momentum. These cars, when they're drifting, aren't actually going with that much velocity. They're making a lot of sound, the tires are spinning fast, but they're not actually moving in space that fast. Yeah, so I, you can use less throttle. I was at about 40, 50 the entire time, so. I feel like that's where I am, but maybe I'm not. So nice and right now you want to really, yeah, like as you're, when you're coming up on them like that, lead off that throttle so that you slow down to, to match their speed. But yeah, just, just hang back, just hang back and keep it in shot for a whole turn. And worry about getting closer later on. You know, oh! Oh boy, oh, oh. nice save, nice, nice save. <laughs> All right, he's gonna you know, hook around, hook around. There it is, there it is, keep it smooth. Now here's where I think you always kind of flow oh, past. Oh. There you go, you nailed it that time, that's excellent. So I think something that you can use a little bit more of is yaw, like especially when they're in the turns. More get, yaw, okay. So just to try to keep them a little bit more centered, or yeah, that's a good job. Just kind of Gently get back onto the throttle here. Gently, don't go too fast. Right there, hold it. Just hold it. You're locked in, you're locked in. Gently yaw, gently yaw, gentle yaw. Yeah. You know what, just end it. Just pretend like oh. you ended it. That goes, you go. go straight up and yeah, like do something pretty. Go. Just a nice finishing shot. Just like you meant to, right? I can't believe my battery is still going. We're seven minutes into the Dude, back. the flight time on this thing is just undeniably amazing. Yeah. Nice, nice, Eric. Nice, oh, yeah. That That's a good transition because you can good. see the reflection in there. That is perfect. So like maybe next shot, like look up from the clouds and then dive down. That's so I like what you're saying. You're thinking about how you're going to use the shots together, right? How you can transition. You know, that's something to think about. Nice, 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 Eric. Oh, heck yes. <laughs> yes, you orbited. Right? You're taking everything that we've learned over this whole series and really bringing it together in a really impressive way. That is Awesome, that orbit was so, it was a, like a dynamic orbit. You orbited it while it was moving through space. That is, that was awesome, man. All right, low battery. Low battery. All right, yes. That was yes. fun, Excellent. and when she started picking up the speed, there, that one driver with the 350, I felt like I could finally guess what speed he was gonna enter. Right. It takes a couple laps, and, yeah. then you can, and you know what they're gonna do. You can exactly. see the future. This is awesome, man. I love this crap. <laughs> Woo! This is really getting the flavor for like what freestyle is. Cause like when we've been flying, we've been going to private places so we can just focus on instruction. But when you go to like kind of a, a more popular flying area, meeting up with other pilots, oh, you missing a motor, I got you, yeah. whatever. Oh, I got a buddy with a drift car, hop in. Like the community is awesome. And I think that's what makes it for me. Cause the flying community in general has always been my home, it's my family. Right. And seeing this tied in with cars, tied in with people who are just living their lives into this adventuresome spirit, I love it. Dude, thanks for having me. This, this is fun. Freestyle's all about. If I, if I die, I'm blaming you, Drew. Puppy's in that lineup of cars about to head out. We're gonna send Eric up. He's gonna get some third person chase shots. It's gonna be awesome. Was that the ride of your life? Was that a blast? Dude, that was absolutely legendary. We honestly. got some good shots of you though. We tried to get right up on the window and see in there, you know. Yeah. So did you see us? Could you see you the drone? You can totally see the drone sometimes, yeah. Awesome. Dude, you guys are doing amazing, especially considering the, the what's going on with the water, man. Yeah, it's it, gotta be difficult, it's right? It's hard, bro. It goes from like super wet and slippery to dry hooks and then back to super slippery and wet. Right. So it's like, well, we're tandem with the blue car, that's 14, and we're getting close. It's kind of like, Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> But oh man, all these things, it, that was, you guys are killing it. If you want to see more drifting action, there'll be links to all these guys' channels. We got Camel Style, we got 
Front Seat Extreme. We got Front Seat Extreme. Link in the description. Check them out. But don't forget to come back here, of course, every Monday for new episodes of Rotor Ride. This is the first flight to Freestyle Series where I've had these great mentors leading me along the way, teaching me all sorts of cool freestyle tricks from a beginner to what I'm flying now, which is just a beginner who's able to crash with a little more flair. Yeah, if you're new to this playlist, check it out. I mean, you Super really fun. started started at the bottom. Now we're here. Now we're here. <laughs> Having so much fun, guys. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and a comment, and feel free to smash that notification bell. We'll yeah, see you guys miss a Monday. Episode. Guys, the rain is clearing up. The smoke is coming back out, so we're going to get out there and get a couple more runs in. We'll see you next time. Let's go.